hot outside right now and it feels like summer but it's not what is happening with the world hello today i'm going to be filming a really random video that i don't actually know what i'm filming <laughs> this look is going to com be completely made up on spot i'm going to be using the urban decay full spectrum palette kind of have an idea what i want to do i know i want to use the blues because in quite a few videos i think it was in my sunset eyes put that in the info card in the corner don't know if it's that side that side but either way it's in one of the corners but i said that i really wanted to try out the blue row which is this row if you didn't know what the color blue looked like i'm wearing blue that was completely like i didn't even mean to do that that was cool so yeah i'm going to be using this and as far as i know this is still available it's still on the mk website for you to buy but if it's not i apologize um, there's probably loads of dupes that you could use for this, but I don't know, so <laughs> have fun. Because <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes using a concealer. This is just a NYX Scotch Covered Concealer. And I'm just gonna prime my eyes and go from there. Yeah, let me zoom you in first. Oh, oh, no, I have my foundation and contour on as well already, and my brows got a gap what the heck is this that gap we are now up close and personal <laughs> this <laughs> nyx got your covered concealer in the shade light which is always always going to be light because if you couldn't tell i'm pale and pasty yay <laughs> so i'm just going to use this all over the eyelid this, this concealer is very sticky so uh, it's really good for being a primer and i don't know if you can see the difference between the two eyes but it's just cancelling out all the horrible redness that's going down oh and if none of you had noticed i moved <laughs> again i moved to my wardrobe this is what it is it's my wardrobe um it's like on the other side of my room. I still get all the natural light from my window, but it's not as bright, but if it does keep getting darker, I might have to move there by the end of this video because it is currently almost half past four and it starts going dark at like quarter past five. So I better hurry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the shade Bump out of this palette and I'm going to use this all over my lid to set the lid. So I'm just setting this from the lid up to the brow bone. I think I had something black on this brush. <laughs> I'm going to use this little quad from Joan Collins, which has no name because the name came off the back. I apologize, but it's just like four shades of brown and gold. <laughs> and I'm going to be using these brown shades as like the crease and transition color because I want to like have a smoky-ish eye kind of look. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so I'm going to use that medium brown shade and I'm going to start putting this in my crease as like my transition shade. In fact, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that cream shade as well so it's a little bit lighter. Just so I get a really good transition shade because, again, I'm a pale and pasty girl. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to take that really dark chocolate, really dark shade. And I'm going to focus this more in my crease so like not taking up as far as I did with the medium brown and the cream shade so I'm trying to focus it just right there because this is really going to help blend out that dark blue that I'm going to use later you can keep flicking between two brushes so that you can really get that nice blend I zoomed you out a little bit so you could see what I was actually doing because I realised most of that was probably out of frame um, I'm now going to use this dark blue shade called Minx and I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm literally just going to pack this all over the eyelid and then blend it out using that brush I used at the start with the browns. 
So I'm just gonna keep piling it on and then blending it into I'm taking a little bit at a uh, uh, taking it a little bit higher than the eyelid into the crease a little bit more. I really want to get that shimmer in it though. Right, I'm getting a little bit of fill out, so I'm gonna take my brush, swipe it up. Okay, so I've cleaned it up. I've kind of created like a winged effect. This look is definitely turning out more dramatic than I thought, <laughs> than I originally planned it to be. So, you know, <laughs> we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go into a little bit of metamorphosis and I'm going to add this slightly on the very center of my eyelid. Don't know how this is gonna look. I don't even know if I like it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I like that. It really just brings your eye forward. So, I'm gonna actually take the same color metamorphosis and I'm gonna go right on that inner corner area because I have something planned for the outer corner. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to look yet, but I'm gonna just put this on the inner corner. And I'm not gonna connect it to the upper because I don't want that. Taking that across the whole lash line, but I'm focusing it more on this inner corner area. I'm going to be using the NYX White Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to create like a wing on the lower lash line. I can't really explain it, so I'm just gonna do it and you can see what I do as I do it. Let's hope this goes well. going to go back into that metamorphosis shade and blend the white like lower lash line with the blue shade i'm just going to take my makeup wipe and wipe away any mistakes off camera i'm really quickly going to apply some more concealer under my eyes and apply some mascara Okay, so I'm going to apply these Isla number 116 lengthening eyelashes just to make my lashes a little bit more known. And I have used these before, so I'm going to be reusing them. Okay, so eyelashes are on. I have reapplied my concealer. So now I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. So I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Dainty, which is a really pretty peachy blush that I think is going to really complement the blue in the eyes. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks, mostly to the apples, just because the eyes are so dramatic. I really want to make the cheeks a little bit more sweet and innocent looking. I'm going to be using the Makeup Obsession Highlight in Moon, which is the beautiful purpley shade. I think this is going to look really nice with the eyes. So I'm just going to... That was too much. <laughs> I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend that out. But yeah, that's a, that's a highlight and a half. <laughs> lips I'm gonna go very neutral well as neutral as it gets for me I don't think that really pale concealer lips look good on me so I'm going to be using the NYX lip lingerie in the shade bedtime flat and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips my lips are a little bit dry so you're gonna have to ignore the fact that I have quite a few dry patches I'm actually going to use a lip liner. I'm using the NYX 
lip liner in the shade natural and i'm just going to define my cupid's bow a little bit more i think i'm done yeah i'm done <laughs> so guys if you like this video then make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what other videos you would like to see I'm open to requests as long as they are appropriate for my channel um what else? yeah i think that's it i don't know <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah. There's a mark on it. No. <laughs> Probably just made it worse. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to quickly off camera apply some concealer and some some the. So now I'm really quickly going to go off camera and apply some more concealer and some more well. Oh, bloody. Quickly off camera, I'm going to quickly What the hell?